What's up guys, it's Bradley Overrated bringing you another Overrated review and today we are discussing the game Wolfenstein The New Order which came out five years ago. Holy crap, five years ago this game came out. It is a soft reboot of the Wolfenstein franchise and I have to say I love this game. I loved it from head to toe. I just think it is so fun. So without further ado guys, let's jump into it right now and check this game out. So the game starts off as you playing as the character William Blaskowitz, aka BJ, aka the BAMP himself, who is having a dream stay where he dreams about having what is essentially a normal life, but this dream is completely torn apart as he comes back to reality, and the reality is that he is fighting in World War II against the Nazis. And I will not spoil anything else that happens in this game just because I don't want you to be spoiled, but I will say that the story is surprisingly good. I found it very engaging. I found the character development awesome. I like the voice acting done here in this game, and this game wastes absolutely no time. It is adrenaline packed right off the beginning. This is literally right here on screen, the very first mission. You have to save your plane from crashing and then you have to take down a bunch of other enemy pilots in order to save your captain and some of the other soldiers. It is non-stop action and it only goes up from here. And that's one of the things I love about Wolfenstein The New Order. They find a whole bunch of different ways. And some of them, by the way, are actually horror-esque, terrifying moments in this game to keep you on the edge of your seat. And when it comes to the combat mechanics of this game, some people definitely had complaints and I can see where they're coming from, but I personally thought the combat mechanics worked really well. One big complaint was the fact that you have to manually grab every single item when it comes to ammo, health, and armor off of the ground. It is not auto-picked up with your character. I think this system is excellent and all the Wolfensteins have always been like this. I think it's a great system in this game. It keeps you having to focus really hard on where your items are at certain locations and the fact that you're scrambling while having to gun down a bunch of Nazis only helps to serve to keep the adrenaline going. And not only that, as you continue to kill zombies, you unlock perks which will help your character improve in various ways. Just to, you know, keep the fun going, you'll be able to, for example, carry more grenades or move around quieter, you can do more damage with certain weapons, you'll even be able to dual wield almost every weapon in the game, which is another thing that people complain about. They say it's not very useful, to which I say, you're wrong. You are very, very wrong, especially on the higher difficulty levels, and especially against certain enemies. Dual wielding, my good sir, is very, very useful at times, I've discovered. And then, like the traditional Wolfenstein games, there are stealth sections within the game where if you can kill the commanding officers in that area without being noticed, there will not be an alarm raise, which means a lot less enemies for you to have to deal with. Now, if you don't like being a stealth person and you just want to go in guns blazing, hey, the more power to you. This is just the game's way of giving you an option and two different approaches during each of these sections. Now the stealth options and the stealth sections themselves, I do feel like they could have been a little bit more fleshed out with a little bit more unique sections involved. But all the same, I just appreciate the fact that it gives you this option for someone like me, for example, who is a big fan of stealth mechanics in games. And even more so, if you play this game on harder difficulties like I have, yeah, you're going to want to do these in more stealthy approaches as the enemies will be able to kill you within just a few bullets and stealth becomes a very, very advantageous thing. And then if there's just one thing I can get across to anyone who's considering playing a Wolfenstein game is that if you're a fan of basically being an adrenaline junkie where you have to do some of the most ridiculous tasks you never thought ever possible, this is that type of game for you. Those who like, for example, Doom from 2016 really need to try Wolfenstein The New Order. It is right up your alley. It is just fast paced, fun, high stakes, thrill, action, FPS, goodness. And I absolutely love it for that reason. So let's go ahead now and give this game a letter grade. And for those of you that are new here, I give letter grades because that is just the way I roll. A being the best and F being the worst. 
Wolfenstein The New Order is an amazing soft reboot to a franchise that I love and have been playing my entire life. I really enjoyed this game from head to toe. There are just a few minor things that I wish were approved upon like some of the stealth sections for example and sometimes you don't know what you're supposed to do. The waypoints are sometimes hard to see. You know, just a few little minor touch-ups like that that could have made this game all the more better. But ultimately, in the end, guys, this is a game that is a must-play, and having looked back at it now that it's come out five years ago, it's still one of the best FPS games you can play for the 8th generation, which is why I give Wolfenstein The New Order an A-. And that, my friends, concludes this overrated review. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I do overrated reviews all the time where I just show you, you know, some casual gameplay and just give my honest opinion about a game. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time to check this review out. And be sure to pick up Wolfenstein The New Order. It is a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it. Alright guys, that's it for me. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout. Have a good one.